to congratulate you, Mr. Speaker. You know, last week, uh, <coughs> when you called me the whip for Katonga, I told the colleagues here that uh, since you are an OB, you understand our issues. <laughs> Um, we are happy that you are a speaker, having gone through our training. We only pray that uh, what is disturbing Uganda you use that position to resolve, including of our grandparents retiring. The issue of retiring, then they can compare notes, as you said, when they are there in retirement. The issue I wanted to bring to your attention uh, using that window of an OB, Mr. Speaker, we have uh, 36 FDC leaders who were kidnapped from Kenya by ESO and Ugandan military. I don't know whether Uganda simply walks into another country. We had had problems here with Rwanda because Rwanda was accused of coming into Uganda and kidnapping refugees. One of the 36 is actually registered a refugee in Kenya. There, were, there was no extradition order. They had gone to attend a leadership training. They were kidnapped and kicked. And their stories, government will need to listen to them. While they were jointly picked by the army here and the Kenya, the Kenyans didn't beat them. They are only teasing them that for them they are chasing you, you go back to your M7. But the point is, some of them were seriously beaten. We want government, Mr. Speaker, to tell us, under which arrangement did they go to Kenya to kidnap FDC leaders who had gone for leadership training? Why did they beat them? And they should tell us why did they, among the 36, because the, one of the 36 is a refugee who left Uganda, registered with UNHSR as a refugee. So, Mr. Speaker, that is my prayer. I thought we should benefit from having a, an FDC in the chair to have this matter, <laughs> to have this matter raised. <laughs>